So today I'm just taking a quick look at the Sucuntivo Imperfecto as we covered it in class and some people were still unsure about it. Um, so I'll take a look at what it is and specifically how to conjugate it because you already kind of know in what situations to use it. Um, so up here we have examples of subjunctive we've already done. So it's importante que vayas a la escuela. And I'll highlight that, right? So it's important that you go to school. Es mejor que comamos desayuno. It's better that we eat breakfast. Dudo que tengas tres gatos. I doubt that you have three cats. And as we already went over, I think back in the fall, we use subjunctive in cases where we have recommendations or value judgments or doubt or anything along those lines. That's where we use subjunctive. Um, but what if you want to say it's important, not that you go to school, but that you went to school? So that's where the past subjunctive comes in. We're still using subjunctive in the exact same situations, but we're talking about past events. So instead of saying it's important that you go to school, it's important that you went to school. Que fueras a la escuela. It's better that you eat, that we eat breakfast. It's better that we ate breakfast. Comieramos. I doubt that you have three cats. I doubt that you had three cats. So the past subjunctive is still used in all the same situations the subjunctive is. We're just talking about events that already happened. Um, so when you're studying for this, you don't have to study when to use subjunctive again because you already know that. What you need to study is how to actually conjugate this because that's where it becomes a little more complicated. So we're going to start with the verb like comer, to eat, right? And we're going to always start with, always, 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 the ellos form of the preterite. So ellos comieron. Ellos comieron. And then we're going to get rid of the O-N. And then we're going to add one of these endings. So es importante que tú comieras. And that's it. That's the past subjunctive. So where it becomes tricky. So these endings um, apply whether it's an ER verb, an IR verb, or an AR verb. These endings are always going to be the same, right? So where it gets tricky is when we have exceptions in the preterite. So for example, we have hacer. And we know from studying hacer in Spanish 2 and Spanish preterite in Spanish 2 and Spanish 3 and now in Spanish 4, that it's ellos y si er, right? So we're going to get rid of the on, and we're going to go to, let's say it's yo. It's important that I did something. Que yo y si er a, right? So if it's an exception in the preterite tense, it's an exception in the past subjunctive, and that's what you have to keep in mind. Um, so a little trick here that we can say is all in the past subjunctive, all er, ir verbs should have the sound era in them, right? And it could be eras, era, eramos, etc. And all AR verbs should have the sound ara at the end of it. It could be aramos, aran, etc. Another thing, nosotros always has an accent. So we would have caminaramos. Comiéramos, right? So always an exception. So I'm going to put a link up on Canvas um, where you can go and just just conjugate verbs. Um, because on the exam, that's what I'm asking you to do. I'm going to give you a verb in the in and you're going to conjugate it in the past subjunctive. To study for this, study the preterite exceptions. Um, because if it's a preterite exception, it's also a past subjunctive exception. And that's basically it. Once you get that down, you'll be able to fly through this, but you have to remember those preterite exceptions. If you have any more questions, please come see me.